When I'm watching Iman Gaji, I'm always curious on how he does this scribbly effect that's in every animation. But also that the animation is a bit stuttery. In this video, you will find out how to do this. And by doing this, all your animations will look better. They will have a certain vibe to it. And it's actually really easy. That's why I want to keep this video short and let's jump into it. So I have one of our previous tutorials open. Actually, if you haven't watched that yet, click in the top right or in the description down below. But yeah, as you can see, this animation is really smooth at the moment. And that's nice, but we want to make it a bit more stuttery. But also, as you can see, these lines are all straight and everything is straight. And we want to make it a bit more organic, a bit more flowing, as you could say. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a turbulent displacement on this and make sure everything is pre-composed. So this is a whole pre-comp. You can put a turbulent displace on this. And as you can see, everything is now wobbly, uh, which looks really funny, but that's not the effect that we want to create. You can just uh, decrease the size first. So let's uh, create this to four or maybe a bit higher. It can also be 10. And then you see these squiggly, wiggly lines. And that's exactly the effect that we want. Although I do think the amount is way too high. As you can see, if you increase the amount, it almost looks like sort of like a water effect. We don't want that. We just want to have it around maybe 20. And now the trick is that now it doesn't move. If we change the evolution, you'll see a movement in it. And that's exactly the effect that Eman also uses. So what we can do is we can keyframe the evolution by clicking on the keyframe icon. Then we press U to show all of our keyframes. We're gonna move this to the beginning and we're gonna go to the end. We're gonna change the evolution to maybe 10 and then we'll go to our first keyframe, change the evolution to zero. And then we just have to check how squiggly and wiggly this is. If it's too slow, in this case, I do think it's too slow because you can't really see it at this moment. You can also just change the keyframe at the beginning at minus 20, and then there's way more movement in this. And now this really depends on how long your composition is. If this composition is really long, then of course you have to have more evolutions. So you just have to check this a bit. In my case, I like it around this. It's, I would say, 40 evolutions and around eight seconds. As you can see, you can clearly see the movement in everything in our whole composition. And that's exactly the effect we're looking for. Now, the second effect is the low frames per second effect. And this makes the animation a bit more organic, also a bit more choppy, as you could say. And there's multiple ways to do this, but I'll just do it the easy way. And that's by using a posterize time and we just throw this over our turbulent displays and now you see the frame rate let's say we do this or we set this to three and then you'll also see the effect what happens it's really choppy even our animation because it's under the posterize time it will also be really choppy we can put this on 10 and then you can check again we'll play it again and this is exact the effect we're looking for and of course you can change this to whatever you want maybe you like 20 more than 15 maybe you like your uh, turbulence and displace more than me anyway it's a really easy way to change the whole style of your animation now don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this but also videos about CapCut, DaVinci Resolve, other YouTubers and other editing or VFX if you have any questions just drop them down in the comments and then I'll see you next time bye